later. Also, I feel like it kind of helps, like, having an open relationship, too, because you actually get to, like, taste the things that you're interested in. But is that sustainable? Do, yeah, do yeah, you guys... Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, wait, don't we have the longest relationship at this table so far? What's going on, y'all, Nick? Oh, coming to you with another video. So, in this video, we got this guy by the name of Destiny. He's a famous Twitch streamer. And apparently, he was in an open relationship. And to nobody's surprise, it has ended up in a divorce. Who would have thought? Well, apparently the whole internet thought because this is not a surprise to anybody. Anybody who is watching Destiny from afar off, we were literally looking at the proverbial clock and waiting for the bomb to finally tick and go off because we knew that this relationship was not sustainable. All right, so let me just actually show you this clown real quick. So you see, you, you see this man right here? You see, whenever you see these dudes, right, with the blue hair, just the all type of hair, it's a big red flag, you guys. All right, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're just so liberal. And it's a, it's a very clear indication that this man was a complete joke. But yet this man has a bunch of blind witnesses that follow him. Why? Because he has the gift of gab. He's a great orator. But this is the biggest thing, right? I really want to hone in on this real quick, right? You know, Matthew 5, 19, it says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, here's the kicker, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Now, why am I starting off here, guys? I'm starting off here because you got to understand, right? It's one thing if you have a particular lifestyle, hey, do whatever the hell you want. But when you teach other people to partake in that same sinful lifestyle, that's when you have an enemy in me. Because what you are doing is subverting the minds of the simple and you're teaching men that they are somehow insecure if they don't allow their women to be in an open relationship. And then he being so smug, always presented himself as if he knew all the answers. Well, here's his answer, a divorce. <laughs> That's the answer that he, that he has found. That this lifestyle of his was not sustainable. Now, if you keep watching this video, right, I'm going to have a bunch of receipts. So check this out, y'all. So this is him on the Lex show, right? And watch what this man says about his open relationship. Into that calculation. And like, how does that... Like how that started or... Yeah, how did that start? Sure. Um, the only relationships I've ever done has been open relationships since I was like in high school. Because I didn't really understand like why wouldn't you be able to like do other things but other people, but then just like have your main partner basically. So what what is an open relationship, generally speaking? That um, means you have one like main a partner? Not a monogamous relationship. Like you're somehow allowed like in different ways um you can see other people sexually now sexually, i want you guys like there's i want you guys to understand notice lex says is there one main partner he's emphasizing is like i understand it's open but is there at least some type of structure is there gonna be one main dude and she's like oh no nah, you can just pretty much do whatever you want right <laughs> all right keep watching there's one main yeah, get, uh, or it station. doesn't have to be there for some people, but like <laughs> okay. I think it's probably easier and we probably don't really have time or the energy for like more than like one person to like really like. Mm -hmm. What about on. like emotional? It's That's really complicated. There's a lot of complicated stuff going on <laughs> under the hood there. Yeah. Um, I think broadly speaking, you've got like polyamorous relationships and you've got like open relationships where polyamorous is like, oh, I've got like three different girlfriends and we all hang out or sometimes even live together or three boyfriends or whatever. And then you've got like open relationships, which is like, oh, you know, like you can basically hook up with other people. And then you've got like your main relationship and that's it. I think ours is probably somewhere in the middle, in the middle of that yeah. um, to where like we've got like long term friends, some of them we hook up with. And that's kind of how we, yeah, it's a delicate dance that... Uh, explodes every six months on itself. <laughs> so it does explode. You guys fight over it. We fight over some things. Yeah. <laughs> it thinks you see. So he's easily telling you that clearly. You know this relationship it explodes every six months or so, or whatever the case. He's letting you guys know this. What's but here's the, again. This is the problem. You go on these platforms and you just speak about your relationship. And you make it seem as if you have everything, you have all your ducks in order. Everything is squared off. And I'm letting you guys know this right now. Again, this man is a complete fool. And this is my personal belief, but it's very clear. This girl said that she was in an open relationship ever since she was in high school. So by the time she meets this man, you know, Destiny, 
which I don't know what type of man is called destiny, but hey, that's not a here nor there. You, he, she meets this man, and it's very clear that this guy was a big cuck, and he just like he he probably was so enamored by her beauty, and he pretty much was just like ah you know I really want this girl, so yeah I'm gonna agree to the conditions. Yeah, I'm gonna agree to an open relationship. This dude is a big simp. It is very clear that he's a simp. So now check this out. Now he's on the whatever podcast, right? And look at this is a, again, you guys. This is why I cannot stand this man, this male. I can't even call him a man. It, it would. It's actually a disrespect to real men out there. He's not a man. This male, right? He goes on the whatever podcast and he he talks about his relationship being open, right? As if it is the epitome of all relationships while having such a smug stance as if he's actually better than others. Check out, check out what I mean. Into the picture and he's like, hey, and he talks to her, right? And then boom, she cheats. Happens all the time. I've no, seen, hold on. I've heard it a million times. Men cheat but, more but than women. women. Okay, yes. <laughs> so you, you can, you can apply it to You can apply it to both sexes, though. Sure. What I'm talking about, you can apply it to both sexes. And at that point in time, your history, your foundation doesn't matter. It all goes out the window the second that emotion... Okay. Right, so this man is literally trying to explain to him the reasons why you should not be in an open relationship. Because again, it's it is a very delicate dance, and the more people you allow in your relationships, right, the more you give room for the devil. And what do I mean by that? You leave room for whatever partners to now start to have this emotional connection with another person. But when I'm speaking and I'm saying this, I'm talking about in specifically for women. When you allow your woman, your, your 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 woman to speak to other men, you literally you might as well just <laughs> stick an arrow in your knees. You <laughs> hey, just stick an arrow in your knees and 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 twist it around. That's pretty much what you're asking for because <laughs> I guarantee you it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. And this this is what this man is actually trying to explain to Destiny. And look at what Destiny is saying: men cheat more than women. All right. Sure, it's but that would be the, the case mix. whether or not we were open or closed, yeah. right? If I lose all my confidence and I turn into a f***ing loser and I just start smoking weed all day and play League of Legends, it's not like I'm going to rely on my monogamy to keep her trapped also, in the I house. Also, I feel like, like it kind of helps like having an open relationship too because you actually get to like taste the things that you're interested in, that taste the things that you're interested in, that taste the things that you're interested in that might not be like a relationship, you know, like you live with them or you want to have a future with them, right? But is that sustainable? Do, yeah, do you yeah, guys yeah, like exactly. Hold on, wait, don't we have years? the longest relationship at this table so far? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, you see that? Is it sustainable? And his response is, don't we have the longest relationship? You see how he puts himself in a position of superiority? Like, hey, you guys are trying to question us, but we should ought to be questioning you because we actually are in the longest relationship in this table. So how are you going to question us about open relationships? I can easily tell you how we're going to question you. We don't got to have a longer relationship than you. We just got to look at history and see what has worked over time. And it is very clear that open relationships are more susceptible to failure. Truth be told, I don't know any open relationship that has been successful, but he thinks he's gonna defy that. This, this man over here, he actually thinks he's gonna defy that. All right, <laughs> so this is what this man has said, right? He, he He's so pompous in his position and his stance on open relationship. Check out earlier, in this video and look at what he actually says. Go ahead, I, just, Billy. Billy, I can, go ahead, I can agree that the longer you're with somebody, the better sex gets. So why is she not enough? Why is she not enough? It's why I mean like enough, Steve? it's kind of like yeah, asking Steven. it's kind of like if you've got like a close friend, but then you've got other friends, like, well, why is that one friend not enough? Yeah. Because in life, sometimes variety is fun. Sometimes I want to be with a girl that's Hispanic or Asian. Sometimes I want to be with somebody that is marriage and something is not like a different. friendship. Uh, I didn't say marriage was a friendship, a friendship, but marriage to me isn't just about my friendship. going in her vagina. There's a lot of aspects to my marriage that I share with my wife that's really unique to my wife that I don't share with other people. My yeah. is just not one of those things. Is it I mean, going? That's is why it, some people say that emotional. So this guy is a complete fool. I, 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 look, you guys, this man literally doesn't know anything. So anyway, going on, right? Because again, I have a bunch of receipts. So this man is clear. He's been. He he believes that he should just have all the sexual liberty, right? And again, I actually don't even think it's a problem for men to have multiple partners. You know, I believe in the Bible. I believe in biblical, biblical polygyny. So I have no issue. But again, when you allow your woman to have multiple partners and you think that there is nothing wrong with that, 
Again, you are absolutely for it. Now, you might think that I'm being hypocritical. No, I'm just going based off of what works. If you could produce to me a commandment, and that's why I started off the video by, you know, by saying, you know, those who break the commandment and teach men so, they are called the least in the kingdom. Am I teaching you guys to break the commandments? If so, produce me a commandment, a biblical commandment that says that a man cannot have multiple wives. I'll wait. And while I'm waiting, I could produce you multiple verses, multiple verses where it says women should not play, be harlots and they should not be playing the whore in Israel. I can show you many verses. I can show you many verses. Truth be told, adultery is actually defined by the status of the woman. <laughs> you get, I'm going to drop a nugget. A single woman, a virgin, cannot commit adultery. Some of you may not even know what the hell that means because you've been so indoctrinated in Christianity. You think adultery is when, uh, you know, just, just someone married and they have sex outside of their marriage is automatically adultery. No, no. Adultery is defined by the status of the woman. If a married woman has sex outside of her marriage, that is considered adultery. But a man can have multiple partners, hence Abraham, hence <laughs> Jacob. Hence, Moshe, Moses, hence Solomon, hence, the list goes on, David, a man after Yah's own heart. Anyway, y'all get the point. But here's the thing, right? So you can see the progression of destiny. He started off, his hair color was normal. Now you see, the more he's hanging around with this girl, Mel, now he dyed his hair blue, right? So you can see that clearly she was making him more liberal. And you're going to actually literally see, it's almost like this man... He, he really could not foretell that he was becoming more and more of a sin. This was probably the biggest breaking point in their relationship, right? Where now you have this man on the far left by the name of Abba. You probably know him from um, Abba and Preach, right? The YouTube channel. Very, you know, comedic. Um, they, they, are, they are actually very talented. But anyway, what's the point? Abba is actually close friends with Destiny, and Abba actually dances with Destiny's wife in front of him on a live stream. God, no. So check this out. Uh oh. Mel time. Why did I say this? Mel time. It's 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 Mel time. Oh, she got the four. Okay. So we're just doing salsa. We're just one. Yeah. And do you guys see his face? Do you guys, I, please look at his face. Look at his face. Does that look like a face of a man that's actually okay with this? And look, this is actually fairly old. So when people questioned it and brought this out, he kind of just, you know, oh yeah, no, only insecure people wouldn't allow their wives to dance with other men. And Abba, <laughs> being a clown his damn self, was justifying it. Oh, you guys are so immature. Dancing could take place with multiple people. Yada, yada, yada. Listen, fellas, if your woman is dancing with another man that is broke and you, as her man, are a complete joke, <laughs> I don't care how you want to label it, I don't care what justification you have, you are clearly and sincerely deceived if you think there is nothing wrong with your wife dancing with another man. Truth be told, if you're with your woman, your woman should never, ever, matter of fact, I'm going to prove it to you guys, all right? Hey, babe, say shalom for the people. Shalom. All right. You ask my wife, would you ever dance with another man? Hell no. Say that again. Hell no. Maybe you will dance with another man when I'm not there. Hell no. Why not? Because they're not my husband. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It is broke if your woman, your wife, is dancing with another man. <laughs> you guys are sincerely deceived. Sincerely deceived. But you can but look at his face. This is the man you want to follow. You want to be indoctrinated by this man who clearly is the biggest beta male cuck on the internet. But he's gonna justify his open relationship. All right, he asked for it. So now, check this out. You know, he's had interactions with, you know, red pills, such as Sneeko, Fresh and Fit. And he's always, you know, 
try to debunk Red Pill. And truth be told, I don't give two shits about Red Pill. I think they're a bunch of clowns there themselves. But I will say this. Red Pills, or I would say people who lean towards the right if on the political spectrum, they are f- way more uh, in line. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They, they are way more in tune with reality than these liberals. So check it. This is Sneeko trolling destiny, right? <laughs> check this out. I don't give a fuck if my girlfriend goes and fucks another guy because I know she's coming back to me at the end of the night. Because we love each other. Because I'm a cool fucking person. I don't give a fuck if my girlfriend goes and fucks another guy because I know she's coming back to me at the end of the night. Because we love each other. Because I'm a cool fucking person. <laughs> All right. Do you, do you guys hear that? I don't give a F if my girl, Mel, goes and sleep with another person because I know for a fact she is coming back to him. Okay, so let's check this out. Lo and behold, she left this man for some guy. And, so, and look at, look at, <laughs> this is actually laughable. I, matter of fact, I keep making this mistake. I keep calling these people men. <laughs> she left one male to go to an even, in my opinion, even crazier male. Like this dude is literally wearing a dress. Look at, look at this, guys. This man is, this male is literally wearing a dress and sitting on the lap of Mel. <laughs> Woo! You can't make this shit up. You can't make this. This is literal comedy. And let me tell you something, guys, right? The best teacher in life is time. It is time. You see, I don't care how well-spoken someone may be. They may have the gift of gab. They might be good orators. But let me tell you this. All you got to do is give it time and peer into their lives and eventually the truth will come out. You see, because yeah, everything seems all good and dandy. You know, famous Twitch streamer, they making all the money in the world, they get to travel. It may seem good from the outside looking in, but give it some time and the truth is going to get exposed. Apparently, their relationship wasn't so happy. I mean, he even said it himself. He said every six months or so, you know, things will explode and then they will come back together. And then you saw the last clip. I don't care if she's with another guy. I know for a fact she's coming back to me. Okay, well, they got divorced. They got divorced. <laughs> Woo! And let me add this in there too, right? Apparently, they didn't even get a prenup. Check this out, y'all. From her husband for a bit, and then like some Chad too because you actually get to like taste the things that you're interested in that might not be like a relationship you know like you would live with them or you want to have a future with them right but is that sustainable do, yeah, yeah, do yeah, you yeah, guys, yeah do you guys wait, don't we have the longest relationship at this table so far <laughs> you yeah. do you do but sure. but like do you guys have a high degree of confidence that your marriage will last for decades i mean i yeah. married her without a prenup so i <laughs> hope <laughs> right <laughs> he married her without a prenup and he was laughing. <laughs> so confident, this man. <laughs> and now, after this open relationship, apparently she's been speaking with this guy from Sweden for months. And it got to a point where, I mean, this, look at this interaction, y'all. They're like, I have Why does this girl take my place? Who's this girl? Who's this girl? Who's this girl? Who's she? It's Tima. It's Tima. Tabitha. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, she begins to kiss this guy's hand like some biatch. Oh boy. So, <laughs> so this is coming by way of drama alert. You can see Destiny's wife, Melina, who he's in an open relationship with, reportedly ran off with a man in Sweden. Check out what Destiny wrote. I'll have a small convo when I'm back about things. I'm not going to nuke Melina or anything, but the last two months and two weeks have been a massive mind F for me. Watching her become obsessed with a toxic slash abusive guy when I visited Sweden last. He gave Mel an ultimatum to divorce me and then threatened to kill himself when she didn't do it. Among 20 other abusive slash manipulative things he's done and endlessly make excuses for him so i'm out so so he says i'm out but apparently she's the one that's out she's the one that's out and look you guys let me, let me tell you something right i am um, I, I, I whenever relationships fail 
I, I'm never one to really try to, you know, stick my finger in the wound or, you know, say I told you so. I'm not, I'm not really doing this. But again, I started off the video for a particular reason, right? By saying those who break the commandments and teach men so uh, will be called the least in the kingdom. So I don't give two shits for this guy. I really don't. I don't give two shits about this clown called Destiny who is trying to be all smug, pompous, acting like he was so elite that he had his woman in, in check, even though, let's, how was she ever in check when she's sleeping with other men, right? Let's, come on, let's keep it a buck. But after all of that, now you want to talk about, you get what I'm saying? You, you want to be all pissed off? And this is what's so sad, right? Because he has a bunch of, you can look up on his YouTube channel if you want. He has all these videos about him apparently exposing her and calling her a gold digger and how she's apparently asking for money and she needs help and all this nonsense. And look, I don't care about these receipts. I don't. And truth be told, I don't, he, 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 matter of fact, even if this girl came back to Destiny, maybe she finds out that the dude that she's with is a loser, which he, he is, and she runs back to Destiny. Would you want her at that point? I mean, in, in his situation, they were in an open relationship, right? So if anybody could take her back, it would be him. What would be the problem? What would be the problem? I mean, she was having sex with all these other different guys before. So what's the problem with her having sex and then coming back to the dude? But here's my question to you, fellas. If your woman ever dares leave you, would you want her back? Would you want her back? If you're a real man, the answer is an emphatic no. Once that woman even entertains the thought, even threatens you with the idea of leaving you, leave her ass. Go. Matter of fact, help her pack her things. Give her a couple of dollars so she can be, take a taxi and then... Bye. Deuces. Skedaddle. Dipset. <laughs> hey, Whatever language you know how to speak, however way you can translate the word by, do it, but leave her ass. Because, again, if you as a man can provide for this woman, you can provide all her needs. I didn't say wants. You can provide all her needs. And she's still not content and she actually dares leave you. Men, don't be simps and take these women back. There's enough, believe me, there is enough women in this world that will actually appreciate you for being a real man. Anyway, I done exhausted this topic. This dude's a clown. I really sincerely hope you guys stop listening to these fools, especially liberals, in, especially in the realm of marriage or relationship advice. Leave these clowns alone. Leave these clowns alone. I don't care how long they've been married in these alternative relationships. Just give it some time and you can watch it explode. You're going to just watch all these jokesters. Right? Why? Because they don't stand on biblical truth. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Do all that YouTube stuff. And with that being said, Nick over and out. The message sent. Jesus is king, y'all.